Good evening, good evening, guys. This is Jen and family simply living here in Italy. I would like to wrap up 2019 by sharing with you our monthly expenses as a family living here in Italy. So every family has their own expenses. It depends upon the city kung saan po sila nakatira. When you are living in the north, Milan and Rome, Home, mas malaki po ang uh, expenses nila doon pero mas malaki din po ang kanilang sweldo okay so sa mga bago pa lang po dito sa aking vlog please subscribe like comment and share and please ring the bell button so that you will be updated on my next vlog okay so let's start Okay, so yung mga sasabihin ko po sa inyo ay for the month lahat po siya ng November. At yung mga iba po isinam, ikinompress ko na siya. Pero yung uh, I will explain you later bawa, uh, later on my blog bawat expenses na nagagastos namin. Okay, so we are living here in Italy on a 90 square meter uh, apartment or condominium. And I am paying 450 euros, two bedrooms, one living room, one uh, uh, bathroom, kitchen, and a small laundry room. Okay. And uh, we are also paying condominium fee. It is not included in the uh, house rental. Depende po kasi may house rental na kasama na ang condominium. Pero yung amin po, hindi. Meron pong ibang kumukuha ng condominium fee para po dun sa naglilinis ng hallway at din po sa electric, electricity ng hallway. Okay, so sa expenses naman sa aming grocery monthly, we arrive at 337 euros. Okay, grocery lang po siya. Pagkain lang. Okay, so ang uh, uh, food and resto, uh, pag weekend kasi I used to bring my kids outside with their favorite uh, restaurant. Yun lang naman ang gusto nilang pupuntahan. Ang McDonald's and for the month of November, we spent 43.80 euros. Okay, and for medicine, mas lalo ngayon na medyo lumalamig na. Uh, with the two kids that I have, I spend 25 euros. Pag yung mga antibiotics kasi, may, may uh, parang request or red, um, um, tawag doon, uh, parang recommendation letter from the pediatrician. Kaya medyo konti lang yung, uh, yung babayaran pagdating sa mga antibiotics, mga syrup. Uh, since kasi si yung my youngest laging nag aerosol sa sa yun doon na po doon doon medyo mas malaki yung aking gastos okay and sa tutor and school supplies uh, gumastos po ako ng 90 euros and for the babysitter I spent 65 euros nung nagkasakit po yung aking anak. So, may buwan po. Ngayong buwan lang ng November ako nag uh, uh, gumastos ng babysitter kasi yung time na o yung araw na yon my mother-in-law and father-in-law is not available. So, I need to get a babysitter for my son. Okay. And since we have a car, we are paying an insurance of 380. Since matagal na po yung sasakyan namin, matagal na rin yung insurance company kung saan kami, every year kasi na bumababa. Depende po kung kung anong model yung sasakyan mo. Pag medyo bago-bago pa lang yung sasakyan mo, medyo mas malaki. Yung amin kasi, medyo luma na eh. Kasi we bought the car when my first son was born. So, medyo luma na. Kailangan ng mapalitan. <laughs> okay. Wala pa tayong budget. Okay. So, pag meron kang sasakyan, gagamit ka ng gas. And our gas is... 
uh, umabot siya ng 60. Depends po kung palagi. Since hindi namin siya ginagamit araw-araw, kasi pareho po kami na malapit lang ang aming trabaho, so hindi po namin siya uh, uh, ginagamit as a service every day. Nilagamit namin pag weekend, tsaka kung meron kaming lapad doon sa sa aming uh, anak. Okay. And also, for our electric bill and gas, yung gas yung nagsusupply ng heater at ginagamit namin sa pagluluto, arrive at 168 euro. Okay. Um, depende rin sa buwan. Tapos ito po yung luche and gas we paid every two months po siya. Okay, every two months po yung light and gas and water also. Water we paid uh, 50 euro for two months din po siya. Okay, so we arrive at a total of 1,705.80. Okay, so ito, every month pwedeng bababa, pwedeng tataas. Sinama ko kasi dito yung, ano, eh, yung insurance namin, but yung car insurance is paid every 6 months. Okay, every 6 months ang buy. I also forgot to include yung internet. We are paying internet uh, at home. And on our telephone, with a total of 40 euros. Okay, so the amount arrived at 1,745.80. So, I mean, expenses monthly can go up and can go down. So, yung ang binanggit po sa inyo is only for the month of November. At uh, siyempre, pag may okasyon, uh, meron pang mga extra expenses. Okay, so I hope nakatulong po ng information sa inyo ang aking vlog na ito. At sa mga hindi pa ho nag-subscribe, please subscribe, like, comment, and share my videos para yung mga hindi pa ho nakakaalam ay magkakaroon po ng information about sa expenses at buhay po dito sa Italy. Okay, hanggang dito na lang po at kita-kita po tayo sa aking susunod na vlog and always remember to stay happy and healthy. Happy New Year everyone!